He would be epic in a Fast and Furious movie. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Al with Storm Dagger Films. I'm an actor, writer, director, editor, everything going on. Thank y'all. Y'all, if y'all to the film era, tan space like I am, maybe an actor, YouTube, musician, or just like some good old movie and TV content, this is a channel for you. So, my go get channel, like and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single day whenever we do on this channel. With that said, guys, let's get on to the video. So, I got another banger for y'all today, and guys, I got to talk about our boy Andrew Tate. And how epic would it be? Just hear me out. If we ever got Andrew Tate in a Fast and the Furious film, more specifically, Fast 10. Now, a lot of you may be thinking, well, the Fast and the Furious saga is about to end. I don't know, if should we get Andrew Tate or any other wild, crazy people to be villains and stuff? Why? Well, guess what? There is two parts to Fast 10. Part 1 and Part 2. And, I, I mean, obviously, I highly doubt Andrew Tate would even be considered for part one but part two leaves the door open for many possibilities that is literally the grand finale and guess what Andrew Tate is the talk of the internet and honestly uh, from according to what everybody's been saying I don't know how true this is but they're saying Andrew Tate is more searched and more talked about than the Kardashians so let that sink in and I and on top of that it'll be a smart move for Universal to get somebody like this in a Fast and Furious movie because guess what Andrew Tate he is a professional kickboxer like world champion so why wouldn't you want to have him in a type of film like this and on top of that have you guys seen his new personality let's let's just roll a few kill um, a few clips so you guys know what I'm talking about I will not have nerds as children I refuse to have a nerd carry the lame tape. If my son is a nerd, one of us has to die, him or me, and I'll challenge him to mortal combat. Jesus Christ. Walking around, headphones in, super killable. Couldn't even hear me sneak up on him with a fucking chainsaw. Do, 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 do. I'm thirsty, I buy a bottle of water. I drink the entire bottle of water, and I throw the bottle away and free my hands for combat. Maybe I'll be attacked imminently. Who, who knows? Maybe it'll be an avalanche and I have to Aikido strike a fucking rock and split it in two to save my life. But yeah, guys, so that's Andrew Tate for you. And I mean, guys, like, could you imagine seeing him just how he would act in a film? Honestly, I feel like his lines and his scenes would go maybe something like this. This is how I think a scene with Andrew Tate would probably be on, um, just be like close enough I can find. Here we go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to break your jaw for you. Lump you up for GP and then toss your ass out the window because I've been thinking about changing that window out anyway. I'm going to sleep Paulie Stream being over here at last so he can tell you what happened to you. But yeah, guys, so that's why I think about Andrew Tate. I think you'll be so dope and so epic. And honestly, seeing him on camera, on screen, uh, in that type of film, I think he would kill it. And Universal, if you're watching this video, Ben Diesel especially, if you are watching this, I highly definitely recommend you check out Andrew Tate, reach into like, like like reach out to him as fast as you can because hey, he would break the internet if he made it to a Fast and the Furious film. Would he do it would be the question. Honestly, Andrew Tate, he's a very already successful person already, so it's hard to say would he actually do it, but then again, Andrew Tate, he's already big and stuff on the internet. I don't think he would have problems transitioning onto um, a film. But my only thing about Andrew Tate I'll be worried about is how will he act on set? You see, with Andrew Tate, he's going to get out here and, and like he's probably going to pull up on set. And then Vin Diesel is going to say something. All right, I want you to do a roundhouse kick while doing a backflip off of a mountain. And I want you to shoot a rocket launcher at a helicopter. Yeah, can you do that for me? Oh, and, and, and I want you to punch a guy um, in midair. But do it uh, super slow so we can like get a really cool shot of it. Andrew Tate's gonna look at it. Um, ben Diesel will be like, "I rather, I rather just sue you. Can I just sue you? Take my money and then go back home. I, scratch that. I will literally give you pictures so you can use in this film, and I'll still sue you so I can make my money and more money, and people will still see my face. So hey, 
win-win for me. Not much for you, but guess what? I'm in this film. All you're going to take is just, I'll give you a picture. And boom, there we go. I just broke the internet and I even had to do nothing. That is how this is going to go in the story, Vin Diesel. We're not going to pursue or do anything else. This is how we're going to do it. I don't care what you say. Screw the producers. This is what I, this is what I want and this is what's going to go down. Hands down. I don't care. That's something probably what Andrew Tate would probably say, but obviously 10 times more explicit because we already know how Andrew Tate be talking. For sure, we know. <laughs> I I can't imagine. Could you imagine working with Andrew Tate on a set, on a movie set? That would be a very funny experience. And honestly, hey man, now, I, now honestly, I will say, I do think if Andrew Tate was offered to be in a Fast and Furious film and be a villain, I think he'd be a killer villain. I mean, and, and on top of that, the dude, he's got the cars, he's got the luxury. I mean, he would kill it. You know, he's building everything. He would kill it as a villain in a Fast and Furious film. And But to work with him, I think he would take it professionally, but, I, but it's hard to say with Andrew Tate. Especially walk into a film like Fast and the Furious. I don't know how he would act. I feel like, because you guys already know, Fast and the Furious does some over the top stuff. And I can just imagine Andrew Tate's reaction. It's going to be gold. It would be hilarious. I can't even imagine the directors um, trying to work with him. Like, can you imagine the director trying to work with Andrew Tate and, <laughs> and trying to get him to do certain things? Andrew Tate, mate, he would, he would be the type of actor to rip up the script, throw it off the, um, like literally just throw it out the window, walk right out, be like, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. This script is stupid, we're gonna do this my way. All right, all right everyone, pay attention, listen up. I'm not just gonna act in this film. You want me to act in this film, fine, but I'm gonna direct this film too. That's how it's gonna go, hands down. I don't care what you guys say, take it or leave it. Ben Diesel, you don't like it, okay, the heck with you. But I'm still going to get paid today regardless. So, hey, it's up to you, Universal. That's something Andrew Tate would probably say. But who knows, guys? You guys let me know in the comments. Do you guys think it would be epic to see Andrew Tate in a Fast and Furious film? Personally, I think so. And, uh, and Andrew Tate, you're watching. Hey, what do you think about this? Would you ever be in a Fast and Furious film? I think it would be epic. And even if it's not Fast 10, guess what? They're still going to be making a bunch of Fast and Furious movies. Do you guys really think Universal is going to stop at Fast 10? Come on, guys. They're going to do spinoffs after spinoff. They're, they're going to make a Han spinoff. They're going to make a Tez and a Roman spinoff. Y'all know it's coming. Heck, they already did Hobbs and Shaw, and they're working on sequels. So I, I can easily see Andrew Tate being in that type of film. And I think he would kill it. It will break the internet. It will make a lot of money. And Andrew Tate, hey, man, that's money right there knocking at your door if you can ever get on something like that, which I think it will be easy because... I mean, come on. Do research on Andrew Tate. He's a funny guy. You're going to get some super good dialogue. Probably some of the best dialogue we ever got in ages for a Fast and Furious film. But, hey, man, it'll be killer to see him in a Fast and Furious film. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy, Alice Storm Dagger Films. Like and subscribe, share, and I'll be seeing y'all next video. Y'all take it easy.